All right, let's get to meteorologist Alan Rose for a check of the weather. Alan, a bit cool this morning walking into the studios, but a warm up maybe later this week in yeah. the future. You know, I did. I did grab my light jacket. I've been doing that for the past week or two. Not yet mm -hmm. ready for the heavy winter coat, but that could be the case later this week, Maggie, as we're mm -hmm. tracking some uh, freezing conditions. Actually, the first freeze in some parts of the state will come in just a few days time. Here's a look at those current temperatures outside. If you're just joining us this morning, we're sitting about freezing, but chilly at 38 in Woodland Park, 35 at Alamosa, 34 in Sawatch, closer to the urban corridor here, 50s and 40s up and down the I-25 corridor this morning. And take a look at that hour by hour forecast by noon, well into the 70s. So nice to dine outside and enjoy those light breezes and sunshine by the mid afternoon hours. 80s expected in Pueblo today, 77 in the springs. Both areas running about 10 degrees above average for this time of the year. But those warm, comfortable temperatures, well, that will be a thing of the past in just a few days time as we've been tracking this potent midweek storm. Notice the latest trend storm expected to stay pretty far north of us, so we're not going to bear the biggest impacts here in southern Colorado. This is a trend I started to see right around our midday show yesterday. I know Alex O'Brien talked about this last night on News 5, and I'm certainly seeing it again this morning. As the main energy stays north, I think we're trending drier. So that means we will see some light rain, some light snow in areas generally going to be across the Pikes Peak region areas to the north. Wind probably a bigger impact than any sort of rain. Now, once that system clears out, we'll get a strong northwest flow that develops and that'll bring in the chance for the first freeze of the season for many areas by Friday night. Let's talk about the arrival of the cold front. This will move across the mountains tomorrow afternoon with rain changing to snow in the high country. I think it reaches us by Thursday morning. Notice the latest model trends not showing much rain or snow pretty much south of the Pikes Peak region. So I think the southeastern plains going to stay dry from this storm, whereas areas in northern and central Colorado could do quite well, especially the mountains in that part of the state. All right, take a look at your highs today. 80s in Pueblo and La Junta, 80 in Canyon City, 72 in Monument, 77 in the Springs. Here is that super seven day forecast. Can't rule out a late shower tomorrow night. It will be windy on Wednesday, windy Thursday, windy Friday again. Let me give you some more information, some more context here. Now, this low could wobble farther south, but again, based on the latest trends, I think we stay drier across the region with just a few light showers Thursday. Those north wind gusts, though, they could be as strong as 30 to 40 miles per hour. That cool weather expected to stick around at least through Saturday. For Pueblo, we go from the 80s on Tuesday and Wednesday to a high of 59 on Friday and then our first potential freeze of the season Friday night with a low down to 30. For Canyon City, I've got 80s through Wednesday, a high of 62 Thursday with a few showers and gusty winds, then a blustery high of 59 on Friday. For Woodland Park, these comfortable temperatures will be a thing of the past by late this week. 48 with some light snow possible on Thursday, cold and blustery Friday with a high of just 45. 